my favorite thing, which is seafood. So we're gonna go ahead now and empty the bag. And this is the, can you see? This is the lobster tail with corn and potatoes. Oh my gosh. Uh, do I have to adjust it? Can you guys see it? I hope you guys can see it. Oh my gosh. And on the bottom here, I put a garbage bag on the table and I'm gonna empty the crab bag. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. There we go. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look at that, people. Oh, oh Lord. You can hear my voice, but you can't see me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, beautiful people. I am out on my patio where I do my artwork, as you can see behind me. And let's take a look. Look at all that beautiful stuff. You see the lobster tail? Yes, so let's get started. God is good, God is good. Let us thank him for our food. Amen. Let's go for the potato. so delicious the restaurant is called jade flower and i like supporting my local restaurant i don't know if i'm going to be able to eat all of this again look at all that so i'll just eat what i'll get to bag the rest and then save it for tomorrow i'm not a big fan of leftovers are you a big big fan of leftovers not me yeah, so this call, place is called Jade Flowers. Um, one day on Uber Eats, I fell for seafood, seafood boil. And I just went on there and I put seafood boil. It popped up, we ordered, and we've been ordering from them since. Uh, my mom wanted to try their steam dumpling. Here it is. So I dip it in the sauce. The sauce is like the best thing about this entire dish. It brings out the flavor and this sauce that I have is the buttery Cajun medium style. So this is the dumpling. My mom called ahead of time to find out what they stuff in the dumpling. And she was told uh, pork. So let's try it. People, beautiful. Okay. There's a shrimp. There is my shrimp. Am I the only one when you peel the shrimp you still suck on the shell? It gets all that good juice off. And then put it right in front there. Dip it in the sauce. Let's taste that shrimp. Mm. <laughs> There's two. Another bite of the potato. And here we have the sausage. Mm. This is the corn. We have the egg. Crab leg. And my favorite. The lobster tail. <laughs> okay guys, so let's talk some entertainment again. I have, this is the egg. When you bite it, just dip it in that sauce, rub it around like this, put it back up, look at that, and just bite. <laughs> Food is so good. 
I know why people gain weight, including myself. Because I love food so much. Now, do they have healthy, delicious food? Sure they do. But do I want healthy, delicious food right now? Nope. So for me, this I'm going to call this like a, a cheat day. Mmm, beautiful. So just a reminder. Oh, let me do the lobster. I want to give you one of everything. This is the lobster. Mmm, okay. mmm, 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 Okay, so my group on Facebook is called United Shows of All Nations. We chat movies, TV shows, mm. entertainment news, and occasional music. So, let's see what's going on in entertainment news. Now, I'm not a fan of rock, of rap music. I do listen to rap music, certain rappers. But now, who's in the news? His name is Da Baby. He was at some event where he basically was a lobster um, show. Mm. He made some homophobic remark about gay people. About AIDS. Who's sucking the D. Stuff like that. I can honestly say when I first saw him, I did not know who this the baby was. The deal. So when I first saw him, I said, there we go, another one. Meaning, mm, get the fingers. Um, I don't like calling people hood, but I'm gonna say it, ghetto. He's always getting into trouble. So when this latest incident happened, Was I surprised? No. That's enough with him. I need to talk to him. Nice people. On Netflix, I am currently watching a series called Bait. So, your spoilers, I'm going to tell you now. I started today when I got home from work. And so far, it's okay. For the first three episodes, I felt like there was no. That shell sucking again. I feel like there was no chemistry between the cats. But now, you know, it's a, it's a little better going on episode four. So basically it's about the death of a husband who turns out to be a manhole. 
cheating on his wife with a bunch of women. Women who thought they were the only one. He messed with the wrong lady or I don't know who he messed with. But you know they killed his ass. Yes, they did. That's why I said spoiler. Um, now it's getting a little bit better. I'm not quite sure how many episodes they are. I know with the limited series, they can go from 6 to 8 to 10 episodes. But so far, we've seen the wife's story, the girlfriend's story, and the detective, his story. The detective is cute. Cute guy. Okay. Here's a corn. I'm going to eat a corn. Mmm. 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 Which juice? Mmm. Mmm. It's like one of the best parts. If you don't have that juice seasoned well, then it just mess up the entire dish. You know what I'm saying? We have to have that. called clickbait on Netflix. Also out today is um, Corella with Emma Stone. It's on Disney Plus. So we get to watch it for free until September 17th I think it is. When it first came out on Disney Plus, same day as movie theater, it was $30. I said, oh no, I am not spending $30. And of course, I know why they do that. You know what I'm saying? You go to the movie theater, how much is a movie ticket? I haven't been to the movie theater in a while, years. The last movie I saw the movie theater was, um, Jumanji um, part one I was about to say the original but that's with Robin Williams which is great but part one with Kevin and Dwayne Johnson aka The Rock can you smell what The Rock it's cooking that was the name anyways um, so I saw Jumanji I went to Orlando with my niece and my nephew and my mom and I remember my nephew said he wanted to see it so mm, again the show so um we went to uh, we went to see it mm, why did I bring that up but anyways yeah back to Cruella so now on Disney Plus it's street streaming for free. So I wanna watch it. I heard it's very good, very entertaining, which is fine with me. And I wanna watch it. <laughs> the other thing that I have on my list to watch is American Horror Story. Season 10 started on Wednesday. It's called Double Feature or Features, something like that. Um, I love American Horror Stories. One of my favorite series to watch. Also, one of my favorite series ended 
earlier this year and that was shameless on Showtime. It ran for 11 seasons. The only disappointment I had with Shameless was that Emma or Emmy Rothman, she could not, she did not make it back for the final season. She was on there for nine seasons. And with everything with COVID and everything, I think she was pregnant at the time. I was wondering, why couldn't they just do a Zoom chat with her? You know, she didn't have to be there. They could have just done a Zoom chat. Again, that sauce, all you're supposed to do is tear the meat out, throw that down. But because the sauce is so rich, again, we just want to lick it from the shelf. Anyway, that's my lobster again. Ah, come on. Yeah, so Cruella. Cru Another show that I love watching is called Why Women Kill. <laughs> the first season, love, love, love. The first season dated a three decades um, theme. I think it was the 1950s, the 1980s, and the 2000s. So the name says it all, Why Women Kill. And sometimes it's tricky because when you think you know who the killer is, it does not end up to be that person. So season two just ended like a month ago and I would recommend that watch. Very good. Bar Burton and Chuck Pretty. I was rooting for LeVar. After that came out that I think his name is Mike Robinson. He's one of the executive producers on Chuck Pretty. Came out with he made um racist. And sexist remark, I think it is. Let's go look it up. You would think LeVar will get another chance. But nope. I don't know how true this is, but I read that Ava DuVernay, that she wanted to set up a game show or talk show, something like that, for LeVar. 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 Lavar, Lavar. He is the reading rainbow guy. So, good luck to him. And my reality, she's going to. She, she was also. Um, chosen to work alongside this Mike guy, but now she's going to do double duty until they can find a replacement. Okay. Let's talk Lizzo. Lizzo, that's the egg. 
Okay, dripping. Lizzo has a new song out with Cardi B called Rumors. I guess with all the rumors that are out there about her and you know people, she did a song. Honestly, when I first saw the so saw the song, when I first heard the song and saw the video, I wasn't really feeling it. To be honest with you, I was not. Then the more I heard it, it's kind of catchy. I only watch a video once. I, I don't really watch music videos anymore. After the song came out, a bunch of trolls being rude and nasty to his own. She went on Instagram and broke down. Now, there is a YouTube personality. His name is Funky Daniba. I agree with him most of the time when he's given his opinion on a celebrity and he said with Lizzo you've been in this game you know what this game is about and yet still you exude this big girl confidence but when a troll and these are people who sit behind their computer and talk trash garbage because they'll never be called out you don't know what they look like to call them out they can say anything now I get it social media Twitter TikTok Instagram, all these platforms cele celebrity used to keep themselves out there, keep their careers going, but for someone who's been in the business for a good amount of years, you already know what social media is like. This is not the first time people came for Lizzo. So for her to go out there crying like that, it's like, how real was that emotion? Is she playing with us? Because again, you've experienced it before. We've seen where she breaks down, she cries, she has... She has her up and down days like everybody else. And she keeps buying into all this. And like Fanky said, she's not sure. And it's the same with me. I'm not sure. I even sent her a DM. And I said, Lizzo, if you want to talk, DM me. Because trust me. If any celebrity DM me, no one would know we talk. I'm just that kind of person. A lot of shows are being rebooted, coming back from the dead, and I haven't watched any. You have Saved by the Bell, The Connors, iCarly. And now a popular one 
the game, which is a BET show, is coming back. But guess, but guess who's not? Pooch Hall, who played Derwin, I think it is, and Tia Mori Hardrick, who played, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember a character's name, if I remember. I think I watched the first two seasons and then that was it. Okay, I'm gonna eat a crab leg now. Just so you can see. I got my thing there. Oh jeez, look, you're not hearing anything. It's not doing anything. I'm gonna have to use my God given mouth to get this done. And we're gonna try and get this out in full mm -mm. spin it around okay let's try this again oh my gosh can you see i'm trying is it coming take your time come on go, go. came out last week um it was a it was a good watch there was a twist to it that you did not see coming it was good because no one saw that even myself and now oh, we're almost done here guys anymore do you take a bath every day according to Hollywood you don't have to <laughs> mm -mm. I take my bath I love my mm -mm. I'm gonna use this this is what you used to take the meat out of the crab if it's stuck in there so I wanted to just use, see, if it, see if it works um come on sucker no probably if I had a bigger piece but yeah guys There's a lot more celebrity stuff to talk about. Again, my Facebook group called United Shows of All Nation. Come join us so we can chat. Take my last sip. So yeah, my buttery, my butterfly ring on. That beautiful, I love butterflies. See some of my poetry behind. Poetry, I mean my, my art stuff. And I also write poetry. I wrote at least 15 poetry and pinned it on, uploaded on International Library of Poetry. Guess what? They're no longer around. So I don't know who to contact or where to go. 
my poetry all gone all gone but hopefully I will recover it <laughs> okay guys <laughs> thank you for watching please like share subscribe again Sharona K okay? hashtag this is me this is me Sharona you could check me out on <coughs> Instagram at Sharona underscore K on my Facebook group United Shows of All Nations Sharona of course Twitter Sharona K and Sharona CC and I'm also a writer of two kids book birthdays the holidays are coming up go get them for the kiddies they're fun short story reads they are cupcake and teamwork built as a treehouse and party in the sky both available on amazon barnes and noble itunes and audible so if you don't want to read it to the kids but you want to lay in bed with your kids and listen to it you have that option also so again, guys, thanks for watching. This is the leftover. It looks like I did nothing, right? Oh yeah, my stomach is full. Thank you guys and enjoy your weekend and um, comment. Let me know how you like the video. And I will see you in United Shows of All Nations on Facebook. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.